Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to use FSR in pretty much any video game out there for free at absolutely no cost to you. And this is the most simple way of going about doing it. Now the way we're going to do this is by using the Universal x86 tuning utility because it has built in Magpie FSR. Now Magpie FSR is its own program that pretty much lets you inject FSR into any game out there. The problem is, is that the official release is not in English. There are forks that are in English, but you still end up with the same situation where there's almost two much that you can control there that it can get overwhelming for somebody that has never used a program like this before. So this utility will let us use it in a very simple and easy way. So once you've extracted this, all you really have to do is go into the file itself and just run the Universal x86 tuning utility in administrator and here you'll see it open. Immediately go down to the settings and enable the FSR setting. Enable that and also put the auto reapply. As soon as you save those settings, you're pretty much good to go. You literally just click on the magnifying glass here and you can configure some of the settings here but you really don't need to adjust much. I would enable VSync while you're here though. Now I'm going to show you this running on Black Ops 3 and here you can see the graphic settings that I'm going with. Now we're going to start off with some side-by-side -side comparison here. As you can see the game running at the full 1080p resolution right next to it running at FSR with the resolution of 634p being upscaled all the way to 1080p. Now the way you use this program is essentially you just run your games in windowed mode at whatever resolution that you're going with somewhere around 720p or 634p. Something like that is usually going to give you the best results at least in terms of a performance gain and all you have to do is hit alt and then f and that should put on the filter and actually full screen the game for you now you can see that since we're running at 634p the overlay is just bigger on the one with fsr you can of course adjust the scaling of that if you're going to be using msi afterburners overlay with this but you can see that there are some pretty noticeable gains in performance in comparison to where we were at at the full 1080p resolution where our one percent lows were in the 30s now we're practically at a 60 FPS for our 1% lows and our averages are now in the 80s instead of just being below 60 at just being in the low 50s. In general, it is a nice boost in terms of the performance, which should be expected considering that we are running at a significantly lower resolution. Now, visually speaking, it is an improvement over just running this at native 634p, but it's not going to be anything groundbreaking. This is FSR 1.0 after all, so it can only do so much. But if you're in a situation where you're playing games where you're kind of struggling to get a consistent FPS, FPS in, this will be nice, especially as games become more demanding over the years. It could keep your hardware for being more relevant. Of course, you can't really judge the visual quality like this. So we're going to full screen both of these and I'll let it play out for a little bit just so you can actually see the visual quality between the two and what the drop is and whether or not it'll be worth it for you. But since this is something completely free, you can just download it yourself and try it out. I am going to leave a link down below to the GitHub in the description if you're interested in trying it out yourself. So as you can see, there are noticeable gains to be had here. The visual quality impact, at least to me, doesn't seem to be very drastic, not enough to really ruin the experience. And in general, the boost in performance is really worthwhile. So I definitely recommend that you give this a go. It's not going to work with every single game out there. And it really works best when you go with really, really low resolutions and upscale them from there. If you're just trying to upscale a slightly lower resolution, like say 900p up to 1080p. A lot of the times the overhead of just using FSR on its own is just 
just going to be not worthwhile. Remember, this is essentially a workaround for the game itself, not natively supporting it. So it's not going to be perfect. But since it is completely free, you can try it out yourself at no risk of losing out on any money. And it is dead simple to use. So I definitely recommend giving it a go. But anyways, that is it for me, guys. I hope you found this quick look at this neat little program that you can just use to get FSR in the games that you might be struggling with out there. Definitely worth using. Let me know what you think. I will catch you guys in the next one.